This is Eugene Panrutkovich on the Laptop Screen Doc and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com Today we have a Toshiba Satellite S55T or S55-B laptop with a cracked screen and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on a Toshiba Satellite S55-B. Uh, before we go further, this model comes in two flavors, the touch flavor, the touch and the non-touch version. This is the non-touch version. The way you tell that is if it has a T after S55, that means it's the touch. If it does not have the T, it's not the touch. So the procedure to replace the digitizer and the LCD for touchscreen is different, which may be done in a separate video. This video is for the non-touch version. Uh, before we start, uh, two things we need to do on the bottom of the laptop. A is we need to remove the battery, and the battery's on the bottom. And the way you do that, it's held in by some screws. So what we want to do is grab our screwdriver, and to remove the two screws, and you want to keep them in a separate place, right over here in a separate pile and then we slide the battery out and put the battery apart. The other thing is to look at the label and it says Toshiba S55-B5280. There's also S55-A version and that procedure may be slightly different and also the screen inside may be different. So this is for S55-B. Okay, we flip the laptop back over and let's go over the tools we're going to use for this. We have a PH0 electronic screwdriver that I already used. And um, the P stands for Phillips. And the, and the zero, P, it's a P0 screwdriver. And the zero stands for the screw size. Then we have a hobby knife or exacto knife that's to pry things open a pair of metal tweezers to remove things and also for prying if necessary and a spudger tool again for prying things open. Okay, first step in this procedure is to remove the screen bezel. That's the plastic frame around the screen. And in order to remove the screen bezel, we need to remove the two screws at the bottom that are hiding behind the screw covers. So we use our hobby knife to remove the screw covers by the edge and we put it the screw covers right beside the screw opening so we don't lose it and we do the same thing for the other side like so okay next we use our Phillips screwdriver to remove the two screws on the bottom there's one and again, we put in a separate pile. For each step, for each set of screws we remove, we put in a separate pile. That way it's easier to figure out what goes where when we put the laptop back together. Okay, next, using our fingertips or fingernails, we snap off the screen bezel. We gently pull up and out and listen for snapping sounds. And in this way, go around the screen assembly, like this. And if you get stuck at a certain point, keep going and you can come back to that point later when it will be easier to remove. So we keep going around. And the same thing on the bottom. Gently pry it off and then remove it. Put it to the side. Okay, next, once we have access to screen assembly, we need to remove the screen itself from the screen assembly. And this type of screen, it's mounted by metal mounting tabs by two screws at the top and two screws at the bottom. Okay, you gotta be careful to remove the inner screws at the top, not this screw, but this screw and this screw over here. And on the bottom, you wanna remove the top screw and not the bottom screw, and the same over here. And that's what we're going to do next. And while doing this, make sure the screen assembly is tilted back a little bit. And what that does is once we remove all the screws, the screen won't fall forward on you. So that's three. 
and four. Okay, once we do this, we take the screen by the tabs, gently lift it up, and gently lower it on the keyboard so we have access to the connector. Okay, once we, once we get there, we want to remove this connector from the screen assembly and then the screen will be removed. So we use our hobby knife to gently lift up the adhesive tape that's securing the connector to the screen itself. And once we fold back the tape, we gently slide out the connector. I'm going to show you how to slide it back in again. When you slide it back in with the new screen, when you connect the new screen, you should feel but not hear two clicks. And once we get a close up, pause the video right here. This is what a properly connected connector should look like. There should not be a gap between the seams between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. Okay, let's remove it again and let's take a look at this screen. This is a 15.6 inch. LED slim screen and um, with a 40 pin connector and a glossy finish. The part number for this particular screen, screen is LTN 156AT35-T01. You'll see it right here. And um, there are several different flavors of the screen, several different versions of the screen made by different manufacturers. They're all compatible but they all have different part numbers. But when you do get your screen, make sure it has the right form factor and the connectors in the right place. And it is a 40 pin connector instead of the newer uh, 30 pin connector. See, it's hard to get a focus right here. So you can count the pins if it's 40 pin or 30 pin. Okay, you can buy this screen from us, from Screen Surgeons. And what you get with us is compatibility guarantee. We'll guarantee you that we ship the right screen to you, and if not, we'll send you a replacement screen at no charge. Okay, what you also get with us is this exact same toolkit that I used in the video, and this is a PH00 screwdriver. My apologies. It's PH stands for Phillips, and 00 is the size. And, we, and this toolkit comes for free with every screen that we sell. Also, we have a two-year warranty on the, against defects on this screen, and we have free email technical support. To order this screen from us, go to www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a short form for you to fill out, which will guide you to find the right screen online. If you live outside of the United States, we can ship to most countries around the world. Just during checkout, select your country and proceed through the checkout. Okay, once you do get your screen in, reconnect it with connector like I showed you, put the screen back in the screen assembly, put the two screws in at the top and two screws in at the bottom, and then put the screen bezel back on and put the two screws at the bottom of the screen, screen bezel and then the screw covers and that should be it. Okay, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the laptop screen doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.